Hey, yo, hey, do you like vectors? Uh, I got some vector information for you today. So I've been uh, using Affinity Designer for two years now. And I use a, a wide variety of tools, but the most, the tool I use the most, the pen tool, number two is the pencil tool. And I'll do something on that later. But I wanted to try to give a, a better definition of the pen tool because I realized that as much as I've used it, I don't under, I didn't understand what each aspect of the pen tool was. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, just run you through the four different settings that it has, and it should uh, give you a little clarity on different ways you can, can't use each setting. I guess it'll help, maybe, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you'll tell me in the comments. All right, so here we go. So the, the, the main tool is the setting is called pen tool. And it's literally the most versatile version of the tool that they have. Now, the thing is that uh, with the pen tool, you can create the, um, the line segments by just flip plopping and flip looping all around the page. The reason why this is the most versatile is because you can drag the line and make other shapes out of it. So you can you have more control overall with this tool. And it has the, you have the ability to adjust the things as you go along, but as you drop the line, I mean the, 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 the point or the node, and you drag it, a new angle is created. Now the polygon tool is supposed to be able to, is, no. The polygon tool is just straight lines. There's no, there's no ability to curve, there's nothing like that. But the thing is, as you drag the line, right? Right? As you drag the line, you can, uh, you can pinpoint the place you want the line to drop. So if you want it to be all jagged lines, you can use that tool to create that those shapes, you know? Now, the smart tool is something I've been trying to figure out. I never understood it. I thought it was a dumb tool and it made no sense. Until today, when I actually did some research to figure out what it did. And what it does is, it's the exact opposite of the polygon tool. While the polygon tool is just all straight lines, the smart tool will create curved lines no matter what angle you drop the line, uh, drop the, the nodes. So if you wanted to, no matter what direction, angle you pull it, it's gonna create a curved line from node to node. So it all will be circles. Now, the line tool is another tool that all it does is create lines. You drop one dot, when you drop one node, you hit a node somewhere else, you're gonna get a straight line, 100%, no curves. No connections, nothing. So if you want to make a guitar line, that's the one you want to use. So they each have their own, um, they each have their own specialties and reasons why you should use one over the other, and for different um, for different types of art. And basically, you should try to like mix and match. Or when you you maybe do uh, uh, you spend a whole piece where you do you use the, the polygon tool for the whole illustration. So it'll give your work a different look to it and vice versa with smart tool and pen tool, you know? I don't know, I don't know if that helps. It's, I found this information helpful, so, cause when I was trying to do this, it just didn't make any sense to me. And uh, hopefully it helps you. So that's it, that's what I got for you. And uh, see you next time. If you have questions, hit me in the, the chat, the comments and the DMs and uh, sharing is caring. If you love this work, please share it out to your to your, your followers and above all else uh take them advice I only put take from this that take from this the information that resonates the most with you and everything else you can throw it away all right until next time peace this is effective points pop out